How's it going everyone? Darren here, aka Dr. Dev, and welcome to my Devlog series. It is currently Monday evening and I just got home from work. That means that it's time to get cracking on making this game. So I fired up the Unity Hub and created an empty game project. There were a few things that I wanted to get done before actually starting with the development though. For a start, I wanted to prepare this empty game project for Git because that's what I'll be using for version control in Azure DevOps. So I created a new repository and generated a readme and a git ignore file. Luckily, there was an option to generate a git ignore for Unity, so I chose that but had to make an extremely important alteration first. I ordered it alphabetically. <laughs> I also added a few things to it that I thought were useful based on another git ignore that I found online. Then it was just a matter of setting up my Git remote, pushing my project, doing a bit of black magic, and lo and behold, we had an initial commit. Let's go. The other thing that I wanted to get done, although not actually necessary, was setting up a continuous integration pipeline so that I can schedule weekly builds of my game to occur without any manual intervention. This is not something that is immediately beneficial, but I do have plans in mind for the future that will benefit from this. So I decided to knock that out of the way sooner rather than later. Unfortunately, as is usually the case with setting up a CI pipeline, I had issues. Lots of issues. This sadly took up the remainder of my night and I had to go to bed feeling a bit sour. But tomorrow's another day. So it's now Tuesday evening and it is time to get this damn CI pipeline to build. After tweaking some settings and running some test builds, I finally got it to work. There's not a whole lot to see within the game at the moment of course, but it's time to change that. I honestly did not know where the hell to start and so before I allowed paralysis by analysis to take over I decided to just do anything. So I created a crappy background. Yeah, it was pretty crappy but it was progress and that's good enough for me. At this point I realized that I really wanted to have some sort of idea of the game's plot before creating any characters. So I decided to go to the shops and clear my mind. Unfortunately I got stuck in traffic on the way back but at least I had a beautiful view. Once I got back home, I decided to stay away from the computer and spend the rest of the night brainstorming ideas with my fiance. It is Wednesday evening and I am extremely happy to report that I've come up with a basic plot for the game. It's not finalized yet by any means, but to summarize it, it goes like this. You wake up and you discover that you've died and are in the underworld. But being a stubborn mother father, you decide that you will not accept your fate, but will somehow fight your way out. Now this is obviously not a fully fleshed out plot, and I will expand on it in the coming weeks, but it was a good starting point to go from, and I was very happy with that. So at this point, I'm quite pleased that my game to be has some sort of a theme, because that means I can get cracking on creating the player's graphics. I chose to start with graphics because I think it will boost my motivation levels to see the game not looking really crappy for ages. Even if I end up changing these graphics in the future, at the very least it won't be unpleasant to look at now. And so, after a few hours in Photoshop, I came up with this little chap. He isn't finished yet, but I am very happy with how he's looking. For now though, I'll head to bed and come back to finish him tomorrow. It is now Thursday evening and I just finished creating this little skeleton character. I'm actually very happy with how he turned out. Even though it took ages to draw him, I'm quite proud of myself because my art skills are honestly pretty awful and I'm using my mouse to draw rather than a drawing tablet. I'm really enjoying creating art in Photoshop though, so much so that I think I'll actually create all of my game art, but I think for the sake of efficiency I'll have to invest in a drawing tablet at some point. If I find that it's too much of a time sink to create the art then I might outsource it to an actual artist, but for now it's grand. I knew that I was going to be animating this guy at some point, so I wanted to make sure that I created him correctly. So I did what I'm sure all of us game developers do in a situation like this. I watched YouTube tutorials. Afterwards, I came to the conclusion that I would draw each of his body parts on separate layers. That way, when it was time to bring him into Unity, I could create game objects representing those body parts and assign the respective layer sprites to them. Here's some footage of the character with all of his separate body parts as different game objects. The beauty of this is that it meant I could start moving and rotating those body parts independently of each other. And because there's a logical relationship between them in the hierarchy, they would move and rotate with each other. This got me really excited and so I knew the next step was to start animating him. But it was getting a bit late at this point so it would have to wait until tomorrow.
It is now Friday and I honestly had trouble sleeping last night due to the excitement of the prospects of today. At this point I knew it was the right choice to start with Art. Seeing the skeleton that I created in Unity with his separated body parts just gave me so much more motivation than I would have had if he were just a stupid little square. I imagine not all game developers would agree with me but for me this was the best choice to make. So I finally got to satisfy my itch and went and created my first animation ever. It's not exactly AAA quality, in fact I'm sure it looks really trash next to most indie games even, but I made that and that means that it's like a child to me. You guys can all say, oh my god that's so trash, ha 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 ha, but you know what, it's my child and that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So after pacing up and down my house in excitement and screaming at my fiance to come and look at my little skelly, I decided that I wanted to get him responding to input by moving around the screen. In. So I created the first C Sharp script of this project, opened it up in my editor and started mashing on my keyboard. Somehow as a result of that mashing I ended up with player movement. The movement script is very basic at the moment and will quite possibly need adjustments in the near future, but this was a great start and I can already see the game coming together nicely. Unfortunately this was all I had time for this week and it doesn't even come close to reaching my sprint target. In retrospect I've learned a very valuable lesson. If you think your scope is fine then it's definitely too large. If you think it's too small then it's perfect. In fairness to me though I do work a full time job and so by the time I get home, eat dinner and chill with family for a bit it's already about 9pm. This leaves me with a very limited window for game development but nonetheless from here on out I shall start planning my sprints with a smaller scope in mind. I received some very excellent feedback last week from somebody saying that I should set a primary goal for the week and focus on that. If I finish it early then I can work on other backlog items that are less important but if it's literally the only thing I manage to get done for the week then at least I've still reached my goal and won't feel demotivated by not making the progress I was expecting. This is definitely something I'm going to be trying out going forward so thank you so much for that Coulter X. So my plan for the weekend is to add a bunch of new items to the backlog and start planning out next week's sprint. It's highly likely that I'll set my sprint goal to create an enemy and maybe have it follow the player. No combat or anything like that unless I have the time to do that. I want to quickly say that I was astonished at the amazing feedback that my planning phase video from last week received. I also gained a bunch of new subs as a result of that so I want to personally welcome each of you to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and don't regret hitting that sub button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel and you enjoyed this video then why not subscribe now and make sure to hit that little bell to stay up to date with my latest uploads. Thank you so much guys for watching, again I appreciate it a bunch and I shall catch you all next week. <laughs>